All right, now for the next step. So we saw one information gain calculation for humidity. And there's another one for wind, which is on the slides on the left. So to determine which is the best attribute, you have to do the information gain calculations for all the possible attributes, which is outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind. And now when you have the information gain calculations for all these attributes, you find out which attribute comes out on top, which has the highest information gain, and you choose that attribute to split on. So it turns out when you actually finish all these calculations, it turns out that Outlook is the one that has the highest information gain. So it's picked as the root of the tree. So as you can see on the left, Outlook is the root of the tree. So now we want to show how the next step is going to be. Once you have picked out the first node, how do you pick out the second node to split on for each of these branches? So we have chosen, chosen Outlook. So now Outlook has values, sunny, overcast, and rain. So for these, all these three values, you have to now repeat the calculations. So let's look at the leftmost branch where Outlook is equal to Sunny. So now we want to pick out the next node to split on in this in this branch of the tree. So we want to look at humidity first. Uh, it turns out that humidity is also the highest um, has also the highest information gain, which is because it seems to be the one chosen next to split on. Uh, but let's look at humidity, and we can see how to calculate the information gain. So now for S, um, so for outlook equal to sunny, our S that we pass on to the next growth tree call in the recursive call. So now we are gonna build the next part of the tree, right? So we are gonna recursively call the growth tree function. So S sunny is going to be only those instances where the value of outlook is equal to sunny. So that is D1, D2, uh, D8, D9, and D11 on the left. So for all for these five instances, now for humidity, we have to calculate the information gain. So which is entropy of S of sunny minus uh, number of instances where humidity is high, which is suppose suddenly three, and number of instances where humidity is normal which is given by two so let's count them and see if they are actually right so let's go on the left and look at the data so where outlook is sunny and humidity is high so sunny high d1 d2 d8 right and d9 has sunny and normal so that's going to the next class and um D11 also has sunny and normal. So that is the other humidity called the normal class. So for these two classes now, since we are going to split on humidity, so we counted the number of instances where uh, outlook is sunny and humidity is high, and that goes here. And now we have to multiply that by entropy of humidity equal to high, 3 by 5 entropy of humidity equal to high, and 2 by 5 times entropy of humidity equal to normal. Okay, so now let's look at the entropy calculations for all these three, one by one. Uh, entropy of sunny. So for now, for to calculate entropy, we always look at the class, the prediction class that we are going to predict. So play tennis is what we want to predict. So that's what we're going to look at, and. We are going to look at, in these instances, how many play tennis is yes and how many play tennis uh, values are no. So we have D9, where outlook is sunny and play tennis is yes. And D11, where outlook is sunny and play tennis is yes. So we have two instances out of five instances where Platonus is yes. And all the other instances, Platonus is no. In total, there are five instances. Okay, so now we're going to the next entropy calculation where humidity is high. So remember, here we are only looking at that subset of data where humidity is high and outlook is sunny. 
so only d1 d2 and uh, d8 right these three have outlook is sunny and humidity to be high so that's why we have only three total number of instances here and for all these three instances we see that plate ms is no so we have all instances where plate ms is no and zero instances where plate ns is yes so we calculate this and we get the value zero